hello guys and welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is graphics runtime detected a crash or loss of device error code is broccoli so if you're receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to cap the fps at 100 so launch the game now once you launch the game uh, you can open settings and then press the escape key go to open settings and then go to video over here now over here you can see frame rate cap now if this is off you can turn it on and then you can just set it to 100 for me it's working uh, you can try this you can even lower down more if you want and then apply changes and then check now the next step is to use nvidia app or msr after bundle to lower your maximum clocks or set your power limit lower until the error stops so you can try this now this has worked for many uh, players so it might work for you now the next step is to enable debug mode in nvidia control panel so go to the desktop make a right on the desktop select uh, show more option and then go to nvidia control panel and once nvidia and control panel is open now at the top left here you can see help option go to help and click on debug mode once debug mode is checked over here now you have to relaunch the game and then check now desktop users you can turn off ecc in nvidia control panel now for this again open nvidia control panel i have a laptop so i don't see those options uh, desktop users can open nvidia control panel and then you can go to uh, over here from the task pane here you can see change ecc state now over here you will see your graphic card now if this is checked you can uncheck ecc box and then you have to apply the changes at the bottom right you will see the apply option so once you select it uh, here whenever you make any changes at the bottom you will see the apply option so hit apply so uncheck this box and then check if this box is this box is already unchecked in that case you can put a check and then you can relaunch the game and then check so try both on and off so for many users unchecking this box has worked so again check now still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now once you go to power options over here you will see multiple option so you will see options like this uh, you will see power saver over here so in my case uh, i have only the balanced one in your case you will find this power saver option like this so you, you can select power saver and then check you have to relaunch the game you can even go for balanced or you can even try high performance for many user power saver has worked so you can try power saver check which one is working fine for you now also if you're using uh, this intel extreme tuning utility software if you're not using you can search in google you can install it and then go to performance score ratio and you can lower down this performance score ratio now like if this is set to 58 or 59 x you can try maybe 56 x maybe 55 x maybe 54 x once you lower down your performance score ratio hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable g-sync now if the g-sync is enabled then you can disable it and then you have to relaunch the game this has also worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to turn off gaming mode now for this open windows settings and then go to gaming and then if sorry gaming and then go to game mode if game mode is on you can turn this off if it is already off you can turn it on and then check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia now scroll down select your graphic card from the list and then you can click on start search
and then the very first is the latest one whichever is the latest graphic card driver geforce gamery driver you can click on get download and you can download this file and the, once the download is complete you you can run this exe file and install it once you install it uh, you will see the screen click on yes and then click on ok and then you will see agree and continue select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then check now nvidia card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to nvidia website select your graphic card install the latest one restart your computer and then launch the game now nvidia card users can also install this uh, hotfix the latest hotfix and driver now for this uh, in google search you can type in nvidia hotfix driver latest and you can go to this website uh, that says five whichever is the latest i think this is the latest 576.66 you can click on it and then you can scroll down and then over here you can see the click here to download the geforce hotfix driver and then you can run this exe file once again and install the graphic card driver uh, the hotfix one and make sure that you when you uh, select the custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game now still not working uh, the next step is to rollback graphics driver now this has also worked for many uh, players so you can uh, go back and go to the nvidia website once again and then you can select your graphic card over here and make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and then on this page scroll down and then you will see view more version so maybe uh, whichever is the latest uh, you can switch to the previous one maybe it's 576.80 or maybe 576.40 now for many players this has worked this one 5 566.36 you can click on view and then you can click on uh, download and download it and then uh, run the run the exe file but make sure that you go for perform a clean installation and then click on next after the reinstallation restart your computer and then you can check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card uh, for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then go to add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed uh, open the game folder steam apps common open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game over here select high performance over here select your graphic card over here and then launch the game now desktop users make sure uh, the display cable or maybe the hdmi cable is connected to the dedicated graphic card not the motherboard slot dedicated graphic card slot sometimes it is connected to the motherboard which has the intel one uh, so make sure that you connect the display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot and next step is to disable steam overlay this has also worked for many players so make a right click go to properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on turn it off also if you have any other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application and then launch the game do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default this has also worked for many players so set it to default and then close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner anything running close it next step is to try force d3 d12 uh, d11 in launch option make a right click on the uh, game properties in the launch option type in dash force dash d3 d11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files to verify the game files make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working update your windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to set the bios to default so go to the bios uh, screen like set down a computer start a computer keep on tapping the bios key in dell computer it's f2 key when you tap the f2 while starting 
uh, it will take you to the BIOS screen. So for different brands, uh, the BIOS key may be different. So go to the BIOS screen and you can set it to default, set it to factory you know, default. And once you set it to default, restart and then check. If that does not work, update the BIOS. Now for this, you can go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the latest BIOS. And in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you are updating the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, you log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to run hardware test for your graphic card. So if, there, if your graphic card is like not working properly, if there is some hardware issue with the graphic card, uh, you can just run a test. Um, you can even contact your system manufacturer and they will help you to run a test for graphic card. You can just try to figure out if there is any issue with the graphic card. If there is any issue, maybe you need to upgrade it or maybe you need to buy a different one, the new one. So you can try this. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this uh, error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.